Okay, today is July the 3rd, 2016. Right now at 4 p.m. in the foothills of Los Angeles, we have a temperature of 80 degrees. The uh, relative humidity is 45%. The dew point is 58 degrees, and we have a barometer reading of 30.02. It's been fluctuating back you know, between 30.03, 30.02. Yesterday we had uh, 30.00 even. So the pressure is on the rise, and uh, that pattern holds true again uh, when we have tropical storms right down here in the uh, eastern East Pacific. So we have two storms here. We have the first one, this is Agatha, and this one over here is, is Bloss, right here. And uh, Bloss is almost a hurricane. We'll take a look at that right now in the uh, Hurricane Center map. So we've got Agatha here. Uh, on the left, and uh, this storm has 45 mile per hour winds with a core pressure of 1,003 millibar. This storm is moving west northwest at 14 miles per hour. Now, Bloss is a much bigger storm. Uh, this is almost a hurricane uh, with 65 mile per hour winds, a core pressure of 1,001 millibar, uh, moving west northwest at 13 miles per hour. So these are both tracking right about the same speed in the same direction. But this storm is much bigger. Uh, if we go ahead and take a look at the, at, at the uh, East Pacific map, the water vapor map, we can see that this storm has a blast pattern on it. They've been uh, targeting, the people running these transmitters have been targeting this storm. Uh, and uh, we can see that there's not a whole lot. Uh, it's, a, it's not a substantial storm. And uh, so they have been hitting that. We can see the blast pattern all the way around. This storm has also been uh, being targeted, but they're allowing both of these to spool up. Uh, they're both tropical storms. This one here, I think, will become a hurricane by tonight or tomorrow. Uh, they've been targeting this as well. There's a blast pattern right on the core, uh, right in the first few frames. We can see a, a large uh, arc moving out to the northeast. That's a blast pattern. And, uh, but they are allowing these both of these to uh, carry on and move out into the uh, eastern Pacific. Now these both could have been wiped out just like all the other disturbances and all the other thunder thunderstorms down here we've been watching for the last uh, month and a half. This storm here is being uh, targeted. We can see a blast pattern right there towards the end of the loop. There's all sorts of thunderstorms all through here that are being targeted. These are being allowed to, to spool up. Uh, they're putting on a show for us. Let's go ahead and take a look at the infrared uh, map. We can see that the deep red is widespread, so the uh, depth of the water vapor here is, is substantial. We have uh, a lot of rain, thunderstorms in this area. That's a pretty wide band of, of red there, so we'll keep an eye on that. But in preparation uh, for these storms, uh, west-northwest track we're having uh, we can see that high pressure has been uh, built in we have uh, the purple down here on the chart indicates dry uh, conditions also on the uh, water vapor or excuse me uh, let's take a look at the, uh, the visible light map we have uh, there there's been photoshopping over over both of these storms overnight uh, when we, we had the uh, uh, the night to day transition, we saw a lot of uh, photoshopping over this particular storm. So they're hitting this with microwave, and um, but nonetheless, it is being allowed to to uh, gain in strength, and we'll keep an eye on that. I had made a prediction just the other day that I don't think we'd see any hurricanes in the uh, East Pacific. Well, no, I no later got those words out of my mouth, and we're seeing uh, we're on the verge of a hurricane right here. So we'll keep an eye on that. My prediction is that this will not do any damage anywhere because Hawaii has uh, high pressure installed right around the islands and uh, we'll keep an eye on all that. Also we have high pressure being installed right over the west coast. Now also take a look right here we can see uh, right there there's several uh, dimple marks and expanding craters right in this area so they are hitting all of these storms in here with a microwave as well. Take a look at that that is uh, some pretty good detail right there. Let me stop the loop. There's the craters all through here. There, there, here, there, there. Keep an eye on this area right here. 
those craters expand out and the storm ends up uh, basically uh, becoming disorganized. All right. All right, let's take a look at the uh, bigger map. This is the Northeast Pacific Water Vapor Loop. We can see the size of these storms. This one here will probably become a hurricane by tonight. And we will uh, see the, the pressure remain high here. We have 30.02 right now currently. Uh, that's been fluctuating between uh, between 30.03. And uh, as this storm moves out to the uh, west-northwest, we will see high pressure dominate. And that will steer this uh, storm away from the uh, west coast. We'll keep an eye on that. That is the pattern uh, for the last uh, four years. Well, we've been watching the, uh, the maps. Uh, all right, let's look at the uh, infrared map. You can see an upper level low actually right here. I have a transmitter on that. Just uh, northeast of the uh, islands. Right here we have an upper level low. There's also something right over here trying to spin counterclockwise. We do have some jet stream flow right up here. And uh, that is all mushrooming right into this area of high pressure. We've got a transmitter right here. Uh, over the top of this uh, area that's trying to spin uh, counterclockwise. So we have a developing low, and that is not going to uh, gain in strength because this has been blockaded all the way around here with high pressure. This area of moisture is mushrooming right into, the, uh, right, in, right into that area and has nowhere to go except to the uh, east. All right. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, jet stream right now. This is the jet stream map. And we have some flow into uh, Oregon and Washington and part of Canada. Let's look at the uh, surface analysis map. You can see a, a widespread area of high pressure that's installed here in the uh, East Pacific. We have these two tropical storms not notated. Um, Bloss and Agatha. And we have a trough indicated over California still. We had a, there's a trough indicated over... Uh, California the last three days actually. This is the third day. You've seen that. Uh, we have a low and a high indicated right here next to each other. Let's take a look next at the uh, SSEC geostationary uh, water vapor map and we can see that this uh, upper level low pressure system right out here which is trying to spin up has a lot of chemtrail activity. A lot of jets are spraying chemtrails all through this uh, moisture field right here and also right through this area right right here you can see those lines are moving uh, they're spraying uh, to the uh, east west generally sort of in this at this angle here and also the up up right through here big long streaks back and forth all through here see those storms down here in the lower right and it remains to be seen what's going to happen here but this moisture should move north and uh, bring us some cooler uh, humid weather but uh, as I say high pressure is being built in and uh, that is the pattern uh, when hurricanes and tropical storms are to the south they always pump the pressure up and that will uh, that will uh, prevent them from getting uh, up into these waters up near uh, California. Okay, here is the uh, surface sea level pressure analysis right here. We can see the uh, all the high pressure here. There's a low indicated just right near uh, San Felipe, right up here. That, there's the low. We have another low over here over Texas. Okay, that's the uh, surface chart. Let's look at the 500 millibar. See a upper level low right out here. This is where they're spraying the chemtrails all through the uh, moisture field right out here. We have low pressure indicated all through this area. There's a low right here where that trough is. That's at the 500 millibar. Now let's look at the 300 millibar. We have high pressure right here, and that is uh, right in time for these storms as they move to the west northwest. This will probably probably build up. <clears throat> this high pressure area right here will probably uh, continue to build. We have high 
pressure indicated all through here around this low. And uh, so we have this upper level low. We have a uh, low right down here indicated. And we have these two storms, which are much further south. All right, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens, to say the least, because uh, uh, not one of these hurricanes last year uh, hit Mexico or hit uh, Hawaii. They, they ran them right around Hawaii. They blew them apart. We'll get to see all that detail. This, they're, they're hitting it right here. We can see the detail. Let's go back and take a look at that. The storm is being hit. It doesn't even have an eye wall yet. Uh, but we'll keep an eye on this. Um, but the pattern is holding true. They've got the pressure building right over the uh, southwest United States. And that will uh, provide a shield uh, so that these storms will not turn north. If they do decide to turn north, they will be uh, directed out to the east, as we've seen every time. Or if they go out to near the Hawaiian Islands, they will uh, steer them around the islands. All right, so that's it. Uh, we'll do another uh, update uh, maybe tonight certainly tomorrow. All right, that's it. Happy 4th of July.